Not only is Summer Rae losing around 100,000 followers every month, but she is now also getting exposed for faking her new career in DJing and absolutely destroyed her reputation with it. Yes, the history of drama, scams and controversy seems to be endless for one of the most famous fitness models on the internet. However, how did she go from being a true icon on Instagram and YouTube to now getting flooded with hate on almost every single post? Well, we need to go back to the beginning of her career to find out. Summer Rae was born on September 5th, 1996 in Colorado. And despite her high school attendance and great work ethic in school, she did not complete her education due to relentless bullying. However, luckily for her, she gained an interest for bodybuilding in her teenage years. And in her initial steps into this sport, Summer's father, who was already a bodybuilder, served as her first coach. Rae began a remarkable journey in the world of bikini bodybuilding at just 16. And in 2015, at the MPC Colorado State championships, she achieved a stunning feat, securing first place in the Teenage and Class D categories, along with an impressive 16th place in the MPC's national championships as well. As Summer Rae turned 18, she decided to step away from the competitive stage, attributing her decision to a commitment to staying free from performance-enhancing substances. But her story was just beginning, because in 2015, she started taking Instagram seriously, and began racking in a million followers a month. She claimed that this was due to her great relationship with world star hip hop, an Instagram page that has over 46 million followers nowadays. But multiple people stated that she didn't get there with that partnership alone, as she got accused of buying her account from an adult star that already had millions of followers. She apparently went from 10,000 followers to 10 million followers overnight. And despite it being a popular rumor in Los Angeles and it even getting mentioned in a podcast episode from Call Her Daddy, Summer never confirmed or denied this statement. However, despite this controversial rise to fame, she continued growing quickly due to her natural body, lack of photo manipulation and consistency. And not only did she decide to step away from competing in shows once she turned 18, but she also got into contact with popular creators Facebanks and Ricegum because of her fame. And this would mark a new beginning of her career. On the 3rd of July in 2017, Summer Rae would move into the Cloud House and officially join Cloud Gang. Now if you haven't watched my video on Cloud Gang, then I could simply describe it as the main rival of Jake Paul's Team 10, with members consisting out of Face Banks, Rice Gum, Alyssa Violet and Wolfie Raps. And they absolutely dominated the entertainment space on YouTube back then. Summer would frequently feature in videos of Rice Gum, getting over 7 million views on every single upload. And not only was she a crucial part of the Cloud Gang vlogs, but she also started her own YouTube channel, accumulating enormous amounts of views. Her videos obviously needed to be professionally edited, and she chose Soloin for this job, a YouTuber and editor with over 300,000 subscribers nowadays. But this is where she got into another controversy, as Soloin exposed her for not paying him for months. Yesterday afternoon on March 8th, 2018, I sent out a tweet saying this. It's been months and I still never got paid for the videos I edited for Summer. I tried to discuss the matter privately, but it seems her or her management don't want anything to do with me. Uploading a video on it soon because I'm honestly tired of this. Hours after this tweet, Summer's management sent me a text message saying this. Hello Solorn, we see you slandering Summer's name on your Twitter. We are now getting our legal term involved. If you do make a video slandering her name, we will take legal actions. After this threat from her legal team, Solorn still decided to post a video, stating that he hadn't been paid for the 12 videos that he edited for her. A total payment of only $600. Summer responded on Twitter with a statement she later deleted, explaining that he agreed to payment being his channel in her description, that he was very unreliable by taking weeks to edit, and that he got his payment in subs by going from 10k to 100k, ending it with, I don't have time for drama like this and I don't deserve hate for some lies a little kid makes on the internet. Love you all. Soloin replied to this statement with his own tweet, and after days of countless issues, Summer came to her sense apologizing for how she handled the situation and that she would send over the payment. They both went their separate ways after this, on very good terms, and Summer continued growing her YouTube channel to over 1 million subscribers while living in the cloud house for a few years. Yet, there is a downside to being an Instagram influencer, and that is that brands will provide you with tons of free clothes and other goodies, which you need space for, and it resulted in Summer finding her next issue and needing to upgrade her room in the cloud house. Eventually, this bigger room was also 
also not enough for her to continue her stay in the mansion, and she decided to ultimately move out. She went on vacation, rented a new house, and continued with fitness content and running businesses like her SMR collection, Imaray skincare gummies, the Evolve fitness app, and a subscription box service titled Summer Things in 2019. However, her leaving the cloud house didn't mean that she was completely done with it, because when FaZe Clan officially took over the house when Cloud Gang ended, she collaborated a lot with FaZe Jarvis and FaZe K in the same mansion. And here they profited a lot from Fortnite, food challenges, and a fictional relationship between Jarvis and Summer. This content trio was legendary, and Summer Rae eventually decided to move into another FaZe house again in March of 2020, reuniting with FaZe Banks and Rice Gum, but also joining the likes of Mike Malek and Adam Ross. The creation of a new Cloud Gang 2.0 eventually proved to be a massive failure, with nobody doing their work and Summer often not even being at the house. And we and we create this house, yep. and it implodes. I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, it. <laughs> what? No one does anything. You know, Summer Rae is not even at the house. Rice Gum is managing OnlyFans girls, and I'm sitting there as one of the co-managers of this house. Like, what the fuck is going on right now? And this was the beginning of a long break from YouTube and content creation for her, as she didn't upload for the rest of 2020. However, despite her lack of uploads this year, she did manage to get herself into drama again, and opened up her old beef with Soloin once more. Remember that, so like, my, I didn't pay my editor? Yeah, it really, I do remember. That whole oh, I remember that. Guys, that whole situation <laughs> was so bogus. And I was like, hey, look, I want to do YouTube, but I don't, like, make, have a lot of money right now, so if you want to be my editor, like, I'm going to pay you. Like he every yeah. after every video said edited by Solo and yeah. I put him in the description. I got him a lot of subscribers. Soloin decided to clap back hard. I got him a lot of subscribers. Please don't try to act like you made my career or something. I had near 100k subscribers on this platform before I started editing for you. I'm not gonna simp over you because I'm not attracted to you, but people saw a pretty face and whoever you were associated with and decided to keep watching your content. Pretty sure if you started up this YouTube stuff alone without any help from an editor or any of these influencers you're associated with, it would be much harder to build yourself. And it showed that Summer didn't learn from the situation at all, just paying him the $600 for damage control for her reputation. Luckily for her, this flew under the radar, and she continued her hiatus for the entirety of 2021, only posting on Instagram and promoting her own clothing shop. But even though the year 2021 seemed to be quite peaceful for her because of this break, it couldn't be further from the truth, as she eventually got involved in the internet's most notorious scam ever. In 2021, Summer Rae got into some relationship drama with Taylor Holder. And I know what you're thinking. Is this the notorious scam you're talking about? Well, no. Because on the 24th of June in 2021, Summer Rae could be seen in the thumbnail of Coffee Silla's video, Face Clan and Rice Gum promoted scams for kids. Instagram model Summer Rae also promoted it. Let's take a watch. Okay, guys, one more thing. I haven't really gotten into the coin world at all, but my first venture is I'm just now a ambassador for this coin is called save the kids um it's a charity coin and this month alone we're going to give a million dollars to charities wow so they're going to be giving a million dollars away they're hyping up this uh launch so the day of what happens it goes to the moon right guys well no the, the the answer is the first day it pumps and immediately it dumps Coffeezilla uncovered this humongous crypto pump and dump scam over multiple videos on his channel, arguably making it the most iconic influencer exposing case on YouTube. And Summer Rae was right in the middle of the fire. It eventually got discovered that Face K, Jordan Gill, and Sam Pepper were the primary architects of this scheme, and it resulted in Sam Pepper disappearing from the internet while Face K's reputation and career completely got destroyed. So yes, Summer Rae was involved in the promotion of this token, which meant that she face the same fate, right? Not really, as the focus on her got diverted very quickly, and she managed to escape from the situation unharmed. How you ask? By being smart enough to take the story on Instagram down within half a day. There has never been an official statement by Summer Rae on the situation, but spectators claim that she probably got told by her manager and lawyers to back out of the deal, also having less involvement in the scam by not being in the original commercial, not promoting it on the day of launch, and not having a wallet with the coin 
itself. This proved that her advertising it was a genuine mistake, saving her reputation from being tarnished once again. Meanwhile, she continued expanding her revenue sources by hosting real life events and collaborating with brands like PSD, all while growing her following on Instagram and generally just enjoying life. It seemed like Summer's reputation was invincible, as she had been on the edge of damaging it plenty of times, but avoided it constantly. And while every influencer will obviously get hate one way or another, Summer was still very popular and loved in the community. 2022 started, and she continued posting as usual. But when the month of May hit, she finally pushed her luck too far, and made a business decision that would ultimately ruin her perfect image in the long run. On May 4th, Ray posted a promotional post on Instagram that she would provide the music for the CSE Race Weekend Takeover closing party together with Steve Aoki, Iri and EV. And at this point, you're probably thinking, Music? Did I miss something? Isn't she an Instagram model? Of course, you're totally right, she was. But it eventually became apparent that it was a teaser of her new career choice. You see, Summer wanted to make music and become a DJ. And this would become clear when she broke her two year long hiatus on YouTube to upload her new release Eternal Summer together with DJ Press Play. The song was produced and written by her and involved no singing, only including a few inspirational lines said by Summer herself at the beginning. And although it was a pretty banging EDM tune with her obviously being the main character in the music video, her fans weren't too happy with this new business venture. With more dislikes than likes on the video, countless of comments memeing the song and hundreds of hate comments, it was in fact brave of summer to leave the comments and like rating enabled for this music video. Yet this didn't stop her, as a month later she also uploaded her first DJ set in Miami. And the comments were even more ruthless on this. If she can become a DJ, anyone can. Kids, your future is bright. She pays people to make her mixes so she can just press play and move the mic volume knob up and down. Being a DJ means being a DJ, not posing or taking selfies during work. Most of the work is clearly done for her. As a real DJ, seeing this is just so cringe and weird to see. And besides her getting called out for faking her DJing, comments also got made of the crowd barely moving, meaning that the vibe was completely dead whenever she played. However, this wasn't her only setback. As two 2022 was also the first year where she slowly started losing followers on her Instagram for the first time, eventually reaching a low of over 150,000 followers lost in September. The damage seemed bad, but it didn't hinder her brand deals and gig booking, with her even performing at the closing party of the Art Basel. Nobody really seemed to care in the world of Hollywood fame, as she had her connections, massive follower count, a pretty face, and two hands to press buttons and move knobs, which meant that money could be made. But her followers looked right through it and continued bashing her on every single post. 2023 would be no different as bookings for clubs, events and festivals continued with her even doing a college tour. And although she would usually only receive hate on her DJing posts and love on her regular pictures, comments of her falling off now slowly became more apparent as well on her normal videos. This was due to the fact that she continued losing hundreds of thousands of followers every month. And when you combine this with her YouTube videos getting less and less views as well, relevancy for Summer Rae slowly started fading away a little bit. Now don't get me wrong, she still makes millions of dollars with her apparel, beauty products, brand deals, DJ sets and investments. So she is by no means struggling. But when you have your entire comment section calling you out for faking your new career path, it surely can't be a nice feeling when it's your passion. Summer Rae isn't stopping anytime soon, as she even has an entire tour planned out. And despite her other products being either discontinued or left with terrible reviews, including some mixed reviews for her skincare gummies, she remains successful and just ignores the ruthless comment section on her main platform. However, what do you think about the situation? Is she really faking this new career path? Do you like the direction she's going in? Or do you agree with the critics? Let me know in the comments down below. I personally have no opinion on this matter and have not looked a single second at any of her pictures during my research. I love my girlfriend. Please don't kill me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. It's much appreciated.